Hi everyone, I'm Liz Brown Swanson and welcome to Around the Peninsula. Today I'm at the Norris Pavilion to tell you all about the very first ever Harmony concert being put on right here by the musicians from Palos Verdes High School and Peninsula High School. Mark your calendars. The Harmony concert is on April 27th, Sunday. You're not going to want to miss it. It's been organized by four local service groups on the hill, and the proceeds will help benefit both music programs at Peninsula High and PV High. So we want you to come on down and check it out. One, a two, a one. It's really nice to have um, all the schools come together. Um, we have a lot of friends at PV. We've played with them over the years in different honor bands and district bands, so it's really nice to be able to see those guys, see what they do down at the hill, show them what we do. And it's nice to perform for the community. excited for the Harmony concert because for a lot of us it's going to be a reunion with our old friends. Um, when we left middle school we had to decide between the two schools, PV and Penn, so the Harmony concert will be a nice reunion for us to get back together. I think the Harmony concert is important first and foremost because it does give us an opportunity to collaborate with students from both uh, Peninsula High School and Palos Verdes High School. It's something that we haven't done much of here in this community lately and we haven't done much of it in our music department, although we've be begun to scratch the surface with some of our activities this year. The Harmony Concert is uh, more serious engagement in that effort to be a little more uh, working together in the spirit of Harmony. Also, it's a benefit concert for school music programs. Uh, Peninsula High School and Palos Verdes High School will be uh, getting some of the funds that are raised with uh, doing this concert and also the Peninsula Symphony will be benefiting financially from the concert. So it's good all around for the community and especially for music in our community. I realize from being around the block with both of these high schools for a bit, there's a lot of competition between the schools, but our music departments have always been really good friends. Uh, for example, I know that this past um, football season, myself and the other high school band director got together and decided we would at the home game play Star Spangled Banner together, do a little socializing together, and the kids just get along brilliantly. We loved it. Uh, Star Spangled Banner, we both looked at each other, tears in the eyes. It was a wonderful, wonderful moment. And so when we were approached by the service uh, clubs to do this concert, it took less than a second for us both to just jump on board. We're really excited. We're going to share some of the performance time and do some of it together. I know the Peninsula High School Jazz Band's fabulous. They're going to open up the night. And then um, we're going to combine our concert bands. Really excited because we both have quality but small concert bands. So it's going to be an opportunity for all the kids to perform with a huge group. We've selected the literature together. Uh, there's some classic pieces. There's a march in there. But there's also some very, very cutting edge pieces I'm really excited about. We're playing a piece called Foundry that's supposed to sound like you're in an Ironworks foundry. And the kids are actually playing on piles of metal and mixing bowls and pieces of wood. It's really cool. Um, and then my uh, PVHS orchestra is going to close the evening off, um, especially one of my terrific clarinet players, myself being a clarinet player, I feel strongly about this, he's going to play the Weber um, Palaka from the Weber Clarinet Concerto to close off the evening. So I think it's going to be a wonderful concert and an opportunity for our schools to just show how much we love sharing music with each other and with the community. It's great to be joined now by the chairman of the first annual Harmony Concert Committee. Congratulations, I'm with Perry Lynn. Talk about how this whole thing came together. Well, it started about a year and a half ago when a member of the Rotary Club came to the Lions Club for one of our dinners and said we need to get together as the service clubs on the hill. And so from there, it grew into an idea of a joint project. And uh, I had an idea that maybe we could do something involving the two high schools and their music departments that would be a joint venture and would raise money that would then go back to the two schools and the uh, PV Symphony. The schools are coming together, but so are service groups on the Hill to put this on. Talk about that. Yes, the four service groups are the Palos Verde Peninsula Rotary Club, uh, PV Sunset Lions Rotary Club, and the Kiwanis Club of Rolling Hills Estate. 
and the PV Lions Club. Uh, I think it's unbelievable that the community is coming together as a whole. Um, the community is just full of so many talented people, uh, talented students and um, talented musicians, and it's just such a wonderful event to showcase everybody in the same light and bringing about just a fun, uh, joyous occasion where the actual community members can just enjoy watching their sons, daughters, uh, grandchildren up on stage having a blast and then watch some uh, professional musicians up there as well. Two, three, one, and go. Well, the group you just heard was the Peninsula High School Advanced Jazz Band. And they are actually the first group to perform for this harmony concert we have coming up on Sunday, April 27th at the Norris Pavilion. Uh, they're made up of probably the, some of the most mature musicians we have here on campus at Peninsula High School. Uh, a lot of them are serious about their music studies. A handful of them will be studying in college. They'll be studying music, hopefully becoming professional musicians, and some of them will probably be professional music educators. So they're a wonderful group. Many of them have been playing together for many years, and uh, it's going to be an exciting event. Well, I play the trumpet. I've been playing since fourth grade when they brought it to the school district. You know, we either sing or play an instrument. I chose an instrument. I thought trumpet was cool, so I kept going at it. It's been a great experience. I've been pretty involved here. I'm in the jazz band. Last year, I played for a year in the symphonic orchestra. And the drama department holds a musical every year. For the past two years, I've played in the pit orchestra in it. This year, we played Oklahoma, and that was a good experience. I play the clarinet. I've been playing it for I want to say like eight or nine years. I started in uh, elementary school because you know how everyone had to take up an instrument and learn. I was like, clarinet kind of seems fun. It's small. I wasn't a really big kid, so I was like, I'd take something really simple, easy to carry around with me. And it's just been enjoyable. Like it's a fun little outlet to express yourself with. I started playing piano in elementary school, and I went to PVIS for intermediate school, and that sort of got me really interested in music. Um, I started playing the French horn in seventh grade and then I came into high school on the French horn um, and I've had a lot of fun. We have a great program here with a lot of classes. I've been in the um, school district music department um, since I was in the fourth grade. I started uh, at the elementary school level at Cornerstone Elementary playing trombone and then um, played band at PVIS and then finally came here to Peninsula and I'm now a member of the advanced jazz band. I love that. Um, it gives us an opportunity to be creative, to express ourselves. It gives us a nice break from the day from all the other academic classes. and It's a really good time with all, all the good guys. I was a, when I was an incoming freshman, um, I started playing guitar and then uh, I auditioned here and it was, uh, I wasn't very good at it, but I did learn over time. And then um, there were six guitars when I was a freshman. So I decided to switch to bass. And then last year there were six bass players and only one guitar and then, um, uh, this year I made advanced band, so I'm the only bass and I get to play every song. PV High and us, we all get to collaborate together and um, we all get to hear how each music program progresses over the, the years and stuff. And um, for concert band, we actually get to play with them, so it's pretty cool. Biggest challenge for me running this program is trying to wear so many different hats. I teach five classes, all of which are very, very much different and so that tends to take a lot of effort just to make sure I uh, do a good job with each different set of students. And other than that, there's a lot of managing type stuff that has to be done. Luckily, I have a great support system here at Peninsula High School, and so I'm able to keep up and, and handle all that. I have been here in the PVHS Music Department since 2002 when the school first opened. I teach all the instrumental classes. I teach orchestra, marching band, concert band. I oversee the drum line, the color guard, and I teach music theory, AP, and jazz band. With the state of the economy, uh, a lot of parents are, unfortunately, they're wonderful people, and I'm grateful that they're able to write checks just for basic needs. I mean, they're just paying for basic programs that other schools just get money from the state for. So then when we need bigger things, like we decide we need another bass, or a cello or percussion equipment, there's just no money for those extra things. We're just barely, you know, keeping our head above water for basic needs. The groups from both high schools get better and better and better. There's always need for new literature, cutting edge, the newest song that came out, or our group's getting too good for this or that, so we need to go to the next level and buy some new stuff. So always music, there's always music needs. Yep. Uh, basically, what the school district funds is staff and, of course, facilities. Uh, we don't get money to buy music or to pay for extra staff or do uh, 
it really, we don't even receive much money in terms of uh, transportation. We have to raise that on our own. The community supports us tremendously, though. The Peninsula Ed Foundation helps us out. The uh, Peninsula Committee for the Los Angeles Philharmonic is always very generous with support. Every year they give us some money. So uh, we sort of cobble uh, our budget together with different uh, funding resources, and, and we make it work. I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Oh, yeah. Well, the thing with the Harmony concert is it's something we've never done before, and just the fact that we're using music to mend the gap between the two high schools is really great because. Um, I went to PVIS, so I have a lot of friends at Penn, and you know, there's no animosity between us, and it's going to be really fun to perform with my friends again. Um, a lot of the same kids I performed with in middle school, so I'm really excited. The whole Peninsula PV rivalry, you know, I think we're always kind of getting at it, but you know, really, music is music, and we all get together, meet with each other, share ideas with each other, and raise some money to help get the support so people can start with a good foundation. We are playing a Mozart piece at Deverne Meadow. We're going to be playing a really exciting Von Supe Overture. We are playing a modern piece called um, Wild Beyonder. And again, my clarinet player, Jay Ho Yoon, he's a junior. He's a fabulous clarinet player. He's an all-state clarinet player. He's going to be performing the Palaka movement of the Weber clarinet second concerto. I, I want them to know that they're going to see a huge variety of music. They, all the groups will be presenting uh, music that includes guest soloists and uh, just a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to see what um, high schoolers in our community are doing with music. <laughs> to a full house. Uh, standing room only would be the goal. And then uh, to have an evening that, or an afternoon that when people walk out, they say, wow, this was fantastic. Are you going to do it again next year? Again, there's so much excitement in the air about this upcoming Harmony concert. You're not going to want to miss this first ever performance by students from both Peninsula High School and Palos Verdes High School. And to get tickets, you go to the Norris box office. You can stop by, give them a call, or just go onto their website at NorrisCenter.com. I'm Liz Brown Swanson. Thanks for watching Around the Peninsula. See you next time.